Give me a couple seconds. Yeah. We're live on the Instagram here, I think. So. Okay. Oh, I'm having fun on Instagram. I'm kind of work, working on Facebook here. Okay. Anyway, Dr. Mark here at Naturally Health. Hope you're having a great day. Um, tonight we're talking about chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome. And um, so, and as a little background too, uh, since we've been in the office now, we're going on over the past 39 years. Uh, dealt with a lot of people who had chronic fatigue uh, over the years, and the chronic fatigue syndrome is kind of a more recent diagnosis code. So we're going to talk about that too. Uh, there is definitely a thing of chronic fatigue, and with those little, uh, well, I should go back to what we had started here. Oh, oh, I, didn't I, think. Are we good? Yep. I did something wrong. <laughs> no, technical difficulty. I moved back too far into the program. Okay, good. So we're talking about chronic fatigue syndrome, <laughs> as you can tell. So, Dr. Mark here, of course. So, anyway, uh, the chronic fatigue syndrome, again, is a syndrome. So that's kind of the, the point I'm after, is making sure people realize this is a syndrome. It's a collection of, of uh, symptoms. So, uh, you're talking about disturbed sleep, fatigue, muscle pain, and cognitive impairment, uh, and kind of relating that that can be related to thyroid issues or hypothyroid. Now, the point that I want to make is these are symptoms of all kinds of things. I mean, you can have these same symptoms with other problems uh, and not call it chronic fatigue syndrome. So, uh, what I'm going to look at, is, and, and the way that we look at things in the office here, is that anything can cause anything. Many of these symptoms are like the, the lights on the dashboard of your car blinking, you know, check engine. You know, that just means you got to check the engine. What is it? You don't know. You got to figure out what it is. That's what we do here: uh, is figure out what the underlying problems are, not just doing something to help the symptom. I mean, you can do that. That's what medication does and, and things, but that doesn't help the underlying cause. What the problem is? What's it going to underlying causes? So if you want to the next slide here. Um, this is a basic, the kind of a slide on adrenals, brain function, uh, again, hormone balancing, a lot of what goes on there. And if hormones are unbalanced, you can have chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome. And uh, I mean, this kind of, it's kind of a, a, a busy slide, but going into, you know, we're, all three are imbalanced. You have all these mood stability, unclear thoughts, emotional stability. Uh, balance uh, has good things, unbalanced anxiety, irritability, um, unbalanced over here, uh, its own problems, unbalanced is impulsive talking, you know, that's the dopamine, serotonin, uh, uh, norepinephrine um, imbalances. So, again, a lot of these symptoms are very, can be very similar. If we go to thyroid stress handling, I mean, again, the thyroid produces uh, the T4 and T3. Uh, which helps with thyroid function, which uh, again symptoms of a poor thyroid, feeling sluggish, and able to look at body temperature, weight gain, depression. Again, similar symptoms to the hormone imbalancing, to the chronic fatigue, um, adrenal stress handling. You know, if the adrenals aren't working very well, cortisol is being produced or overproduced uh, because of stress and too much stress. We have these common symptoms of not tolerant stress, weakness after meals, dizziness. Um, uh, counteracts insulin, uh, stabilizing blood sugar. Uh, again, lots of problems that lead to blood sugars off. That's going to make you tired. You're going to have chronic fatigue if you have hypoglycemia. Uh, and then, so a lot of these same symptoms that we want to try to figure out the underlying cause for. Why does a person have these symptoms? And uh, this is uh, uh, the primary role of cortisol, which is produced by the adrenals. But again, it, it does all these things that help the body to work correctly if you have the adrenals working correctly. But if you're just wanting to stabilize blood sugar, well, you can take uh, metformin to help stabilize blood sugar, but you haven't fixed the cause. So uh, the, the idea here with chronic fatigue syndrome as a syndrome is it's a collection of symptoms, as many things are. So if I go into the last slide here, time to get past the labels. You know, multiple sclerosis has its own things, but a whole list of symptoms here, which are similar to Lyme's disease, uh, which again, I over, 
into fibromyalgia and then chronic fatigue, uh, these symptoms. So uh, for us, the other the deal we're going to look at, and Dr. Chip's going to talk more about the chiropractic side and the neurology side, but get to the cause of the problem, and then these red lights on the dashboard of the car aren't blinking all the time. The person doesn't have to have all these symptoms, all this chronic fatigue, uh, all the other things that go with that, you know, weight gain and blood pressure issues and diabetes and all these things. Uh, we have a tendency in our world, and especially with modern medicine, to pigeonhole people into a diagnosis. So then if you have the diagnosis, you have a medication that goes with the diagnosis and an insurance code that pays for that diagnosis. So, and you know, rather than looking at the body as a whole, a whole picture, uh, we're looking at people as symptom complexes. Our mainstream medicine does anyway. So when we look at it here, we're looking at the person as what is underlying all these issues that's causing dysfunction are, Dr. Chip likes to talk about dis-ease in the body, it's not working right. We want to figure out what the underlying cause is. Because this thing, if you have all these symptoms, how many medications is it going to take to handle all these symptoms and the side effects from the medications and things? You're going to be on 30 medications. So that's not good, and not good for the body, and medications do not help strengthen the body. They only work on symptom relief. So it's important to realize that you, you can, there's something you can do about that. And that's what we do here at Natural Health, is figure out underlying causes and figure out what, the body, what you're doing for yourself every day, like with three meals a day of the wrong thing that your body doesn't like or can't handle, and you just keep aggravating these symptoms over and over and over, depending on, you know, it doesn't even matter how much medication you take, you know, if you have a day where you don't, with the medication overworking, you have a side effect. And if you have a bad day where the medication doesn't work enough, so again, let's add another medication. So that's where people that end up in nursing homes, uh, you know, they're not enjoying life at all, they're on all these medications, you know, it's a problem. So time to get past the labels, time to look at chronic fatigue syndrome. Uh, you know, it is a problem, but it's not, not the syndrome you want to, you just want to work on just that, that name, that diagnosis, you want to work on underlying causes of it. And, and figure out what's going on there. So that's my point for today. Uh, as we've kind of went through this whole month of Women's Health Month, is really looking at getting these underlying issues going on rather than just treating the symptom, rather than going to the doctor and say, well, I've got, you know, fatigue. Well, you know, that, what does that mean? Uh, why is that there? Uh, you know, we can give you a medication for that, but that doesn't really help the cause of it, what's going on in your underlying. If you don't handle the causes, you'll have more red lights go on. Uh, symptoms are the last things that show up, but the first things to leave. So people can have problems for years and years, even decades sometimes, not really have a big symptom problem, but then all of a sudden all these symptoms show up. So it's from chronic problems over the years. So anyway, that's probably enough for me today. I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Chip. He's going to go into some more interesting facts. Dr. Chip, it's up to you. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. Well, welcome. Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Chip, of course, and we'll kind of keep rolling with the, the chronic fatigue, fatigue syndrome of talk here, and again, keep going. Um, so, uh, again, like we said before, chronic fatigue syndrome, um, it's just a list of uh, different symptoms that are correlating to this specific diagnosis, you would say. And so, um, when you co go into a office and you're saying that you've been tired for a while, uh, and they, they label or we get a label that says, well, now you have chronic fatigue syndrome. Well, what does that really mean? Um, so chronic, again, that's just a, a long period of time. Uh, fatigue is um, tiredness. And syndrome is any symptoms relating to this label. So again, having tired-like symptoms for a long period of time. Uh, so again, like Dr. Mark explained, is Yes, we can be tired at certain times, but why, why is that? What is going on? Why not look at an underlying cause of that issue and help us to um, clear out what's going on so that the body can actually do its thing so that we do have good energy? Um, so we'll go ahead and kind of keep talking here. Now, a lot of times we think about uh, tiredness or energy relating back to the thyroid and adrenals and again very important organs for us to maintain uh, good energy um, so we have two different systems uh, two uh, different aspects of our nervous system being the sympathetic uh, and the parasympathetic 
Now, the sympathetic, again, it's more of our fight or flight state. So if we're stressed out too much or if we're not able to handle different things in our life or our environment, we get overloaded with different things that causes a unbalanced brain leading to an unbalanced body, which again, inevitably results in tiredness. Um, so again, what we could think about too is that um, when our nervous system is out of you know, touch or out of whack or um, it's just kind of overwhelmed or exhausted, kind of you'd say kind of brain on fire here, um, it's not able to send the correct messages to the body are able to regulate the systems of the body. Um, so I'm going to go this one here. Um, and that when that happens again, our brain is not coordinating with the body well enough to actually regulate um, good health and good healing. So um, the issue there too is that when our brain is unbalanced, we are sending the wrong signals to the thyroid and adrenals, causing an unbalance or an imbalance of, you would say, chemicals or hormones or anything like that needed for us to stabilize our good, good amounts of energy there. Um, we'll kind of go back to here. Now, um, kind of with chiropractic work, helping to realign the spine, again, helping the nerve flow to the proper areas, such as the adrenals and thyroid, can help maintain good energy. Again, when we are um, overly stressed or we have um, some physical trauma or we are not you know eating a good amount of foods or we are not handling our stress well we're overwhelming ourselves we're not taking things kind of one at a time that can overload the system causing um, some you would say some misalignments there too and again just um, in general logically you would say is that if we have proper nerve flow to those different systems then they're able to function properly um, so, again, a, a good balanced brain and body is very important if we want to maintain good energy. Now, again, chronic fatigue syndrome, like we said before, is just, again, symptoms that says, hey, I have so-and-so issue. So like Dr. Mark explained there is that we really do like to put labels on things. Um, because our mind just wants to know what's wrong. Well, rather than always wondering what's wrong, why don't we ask what's right? How do we get back to balancing the body to where it's actually able to function and asking the question, why is it wrong? So getting back to the cause of the issue helps to clear out what is wrong in the first place. So like Dr. Mark explained, is that there's different labels that we have and there's plenty of symptoms that we can have from that diagnosis. Um, but again, diagnosis, we could break that word down. Di meaning to, agnosis meaning not knowing. You could say that now two people don't know what's going on. So this is what we're kind of talking about here too, is that why, why can you have these symptoms here and then just be labeled with one of these names here. How about we get back to, again, the underlying cause or why something is unbalanced and get your body and brain balanced well. Um, and again, we're not saying is that, you know, different uh, treatments or anything like that are bad. Um, they actually can help, you know, keep you, you know, in a survival state or they can keep you alive. But if we don't get to the, the cause of the issue, then we, we cannot get our proper functioning back. Uh, so we'll go all the way back here, okay? So then tips again, just some good, uh, good tips in general. Um, taking time for taking a breath. A lot of times, again, we get overwhelmed with things. We get, uh, we kind of, our minds are starting to race. Uh, we start really wondering what is going on with the world here, but uh, just taking a breath here and there helps us to uh, kind of control our nervous system. It's the one thing that we can kind of hold on to or um, actually control our breathing, uh, which helps to regulate the nervous system a little better. Walking, again, simple physical exercise um, helps the body to regulate systems. Um, it helps to, you would say, detox 
um, sweating, everything like that. But walking in general, that's just good for the brain and body to, to kind of move. If you would say is that our brain is constantly fired and keeps going more and more there too, but our bodies are not moving, that's brain and body out of balance. But when we start to move our body and start to walk, you would say walking is very good exercise. And we're, again, kind of regulating the systems again. We're kind of uh, making our, our brain and body work together. Uh, thinking, you can always kind of, you know, look at what you're thinking about or uh, how all the thoughts are flying through your head there. Um, and again, just getting back to good, you would say, thinking good thoughts. Um, that's always a good thing. Healthy food. Again, um, there are, you would say, natural laws, and if we are not obeying them, then we could uh, suffer, you would say, consequences. And so when we go back to these different labels of, um, you would say, different uh, issues here, labels, but we have to ask ourselves, what are we doing to help ourselves? And so if, again, we're not doing the things that help balance the body, the brain and body, then we're never going to get to the underlying issues. And so that's why we need to do these things well so that we're able to actually function properly. And then lastly, uh, chiropractic. Again, I'm an advocate for chiropractic because that's what I do right now. And so I, uh, I would say that it's a very good way of helping to balance out the brain and body. But that's not the only technique. There's plenty of other techniques out there. Um, and you have to find the right one for you. I just think chiropractic works very well, um, especially the stuff that we do in our office. Um, so I think that is it for us. Uh, yep. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we are. You can follow us anywhere on these social media platforms at Natural Health Quincy I L at Facebook, Instagram, Parlor, Radion, YouTube. You can check out our website NaturalHealthQuincy.com. Um, if you want to know more information or you'd like to subscribe to our email list, please sign up there. Uh, we're located at 2000 Jefferson Street, Quincy, Illinois. The number is 217-228-2040. Um, uh, I hope you gained some good information here again. I think this kind of wraps up the Women's Health Month and we will uh, continue to keep going here. And always we're trying to give you more value, trying to provide you more information so that you can at least take what you want from these different talks and use it to your advantage, you would say. Um, I think people really just need to know and understand more about health in general, especially in these times. Uh, so again, thank you for watching so, uh, so much and I hope you have a good rest of the day and week. Thank you.